okay good day guys good day to you all again welcome back to the formula sports channel yet another transfer video ladies and gentlemen i'm just find out say uh, may have one more for do as well seen just found out i have another transfer video to do not this one but one that's more than likely gonna come tomorrow seen we're talking about aquasa chang ladies and gentlemen and also omar wholeness seeing so we're gonna do two transfers in this particular video the this omar wholeness transfer if i'm not mistaken broke today and the aquasa chang transfer well i found out about the omar wholeness one today and uh, the aquasa chang transfer broke yesterday right so we're gonna get to these two transfers um akwasa chang is back in the jpl to mount pleasant fa the reigning jamaica premier league champions you know in the ball ever go overseas and come back to the jpl you know mount pleasant don't you know them never each you know signature quick that's how mount pleasant operates you know this boy would have spent a year and a half in Denmark so he would have received some valuable development during that time and I'm sure he's a better player now and will be coming back to the JPL even better than when he was previously in the JPL and uh, Omari Hotch and by the way Kwasa Chang is coming from Iceberg in Denmark right his contract with them was terminated we're going to get to that and uh, Omar Holness, former U17 Jamaica U17 captain, he is on his way to FF Jaro in the Finland second tier, right? And he was, he spent last season, played a couple of games for Gloucester, or Gloucester in the English sixth tier, right? So we're going to talk about Aquasa first back in the jpl um not surprising when we saw um his uh, contract was terminated by iceberg not surprising indeed iceberg former club of rudolph austin rudolph austin's last professional club in europe um the writing was on the wall when aquaso was sent home last season before the end of last season he was, you know, well, I don't know if he was sent home or if he came back to Jamaica on his own. Either ways, you know, the season was still going in Denmark for Iceberg. And, and you know, Aquasa was not with Iceberg. He was here in Jamaica while the league was, you know, still going. Right. So I guess the writing was on the wall from that particular point in time. The main reason why I want to talk about this transfer though is want to let you guys know for those who missed it that he is back in Jamaica. And two, this needs to be a lesson to the Jamaica footballing um, fraternity. Seeing um, Akwasa Chang was a very, or is a very talented young player and he is a former leading goal scorer of the Jamaica Premier League, joint leading goal scorer of the Jamaica Premier League. He's now 23 years old. He left Jamaica to go to Iceberg when he was 21, right? He never made a senior appearance for Iceberg. When he went to Iceberg, Iceberg was in the second tier they got relegated down to the third tier and he still not only did he not get a game for them he could even make a match day squad only made a couple of appearances for the u21 scored for the u21s as well but you know he you know he could not continue with the u21s because you know he had surpassed the age of 21 so didn't get a lot of game time there either um yeah a talented young man that went to the second and third tier in denmark and could make a match day squad could not make a match day squad no i am not 
you know, this is not attacking a cause or throwing shade on a cause or chunk scene, but we need to get it right in Jamaica. We are failing our youths. We need to get it right, ladies and gentlemen. We are failing our young players, the Jamaican footballing fraternity, all of us, all respective stakeholders. Our players that are leaving Jamaica are not being developed properly. This boy is a very talented young man, but yet still struggled. Couldn't even make a match day squad in the Danish third tier. That is an indictment on Jamaica's football. The boy left too old. That's the problem. The ones who make it, especially in Europe, leave mostly, most of them, as teenagers. He left at 21. The older you leave is the more likely you will not make it in Europe, simply because the players that we produce are so far behind our counterparts when they go to Europe. The ones who leave as teenagers, there is enough time in the development window to, to develop them enough to bring them up to speed with their counterparts in Europe. But for the ones that leave 21, 22, 23, there is a pattern, there is a trend. They return to Jamaica. I'm talking about the ones that leave to Europe. After the age of 21, 20, 21, 22, the trend is that these players return to Jamaica, especially after they leave after their teenage years. Again, no shade on a quasa man, but it's a lesson to the Jamaican footballing fraternity. We need to improve our level of expertise. We need to start realizing that we are far behind, far behind far behind many incredible jurisdictions overseas especially in europe when it comes to footballing expertise and our development structure our youth development structure in jamaica is extremely poor this boy topped our jpl goal scoring charts and could not even make a match day squad in the danish third tier again no shade on the boy this is more shade on the footballing fraternity in Jamaica. We need to realize that there is much work that needs to be done. A lot of work needs to be done. We are too far behind our competitors, ladies and gentlemen. Too far behind our overseas counterparts. The local footballing product is exceptionally Poor. the sooner we really fully come to terms with that the better the reason why me i go so hard is because i think a lot of people in the jamaican footballing fraternity they see our jam our local product as being much better than it actually is in reality See there, a quasa chang, ladies and gentlemen, back home in Jamaica. I am a little bit surprised that he is going to mount. Uh, not, uh, am I all that surprised though? You know, you would figure if he was coming back to Jamaica, he would have come back to Harborview, the club where he left. But he's actually going to Mount Pleasant. I mean, Mount Pleasant of a whole heap of resources and you know pay well so not entirely surprising that you know everybody will come back from overseas you know ends up at mount pleasant ladies and gentlemen i want to show you something quickly this is the article on your screen where iceberg in denmark announced that they and aquasa had parted ways the article read or it is titled aquasa chunk quits in efb 
no the 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 the, the headline here seems to suggest that a quasa called it quits that's what it implies i don't know if that's actually what happened but that is that is certainly what it implies it's almost as if they're implying that he wanted to end it right and they just obliged iceberg fb and offensive player akosa chang have agreed to stop the collaboration and the jamaican can continue can thus continue in another club 22 year old Akwasa joined Iceberg FB at the beginning of 2022, but both parties have agreed to cancel the collaboration, which was originally set to expire in two years. Yeah, because if memory serves me right, it was a three and a half year deal. The Jamaican offensive player is thus free to switch to another club. EFB wishes Chung the best of luck in the future. Very sad that yet another talent, a very good talent, you know, has not fulfilled his true potential, man. If you're 22 year old, years old, he's either 22 or 23, you know, and back in the, I think he's 23 right now. And if you're back in the JPL at this age, then, you know, it's not a good look at uh seeing all right we're switching to omar wholeness now former u17 captain omar wholeness um told you he's going to the finland second tier for ff jaro wholeness was born in 1994 in kingston and this is the article on your screen from the ff jaro website wholeness was born in king in 1994 in kingston jamaica but he also holds a British passport at the international level. He has chosen Jamaica as his representative and has been credited with a 5A, has been credited with 5A national team caps and several youth caps. He received his football education at Real Mona in Jamaica in 2016. Real Salt Lake booked him in the first round of the MLS draft. He played 18 games for Real Salt Lake in the MLS before signing with Bethlehem Steel in the USL in 2018. He has spent the past three seasons playing in England's National League North and National League South. Stephen Ward has this to say about FF Jara's new midfielder. Omar is a box-to-box -box midfielder with good drive with his feet. He is willing to run and can work in wide areas. Welcome to FF Jaro and Piet Tarsari. Omar. So, you know, that's the article on Omar Holness's arrival at FF Jaro in the Finland second tier. Right. Um this player is a player that I, I really feel sorry for. He's another one that has not fulfilled his full potential. Former national U17 captain, you remember. At the U17 World Cup, he got injured in that Japan game right after balling Japan. You know, even hit the post from long range in that game and then had to come off with injury. And that was basically the story of Omar Holness's career. Just injuries upon top of injuries and injuries coming at bad time, bad timing of the injuries as well. You know, ruining good opportunities for the player um ff jaro so far this season in the finland second tier are currently in a ninth position of out of 12 teams after 16 games last year 2022 they finished third and in 2021 the year before that they finished fourth in the finland second tier omar wholeness would have retired you remember he retired for some time said he was done with football and then he came back towards the latter stages of last season for glow chester i think is how you pronounce it in the english sixth year and he made seven match day squads played three times for glow chester um 15 minutes and one minute respectively in two league appearances and then he made a seven-minute appearance in the English National League playoffs. 
right? So that is Omar Holness on his way to, well, already at, by the picture on your screen, already at FF Jaro in the Finland second tier. We wish both these young players all the best going forward in their respect. Well, Omar Holness is not so much a young player anymore, eh? 29 years old, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, we wish our, um, both these players all the best. And we really need to shape up. Jamaican footballing fraternity needs to shape up. Seen and, and realize that there's much work that needs to be done. Seen, knock up like button, subscribe and share free and easy ways to support the channel. Stay safe, take care and until next time.